Throughout this series of presentations, we have learned how to determine the thermodynamic properties of different pure substances. We need to know these properties in order to solve the energy equation, which is a mathematical expression of the first law of thermodynamics. We will now review the different ways that we can determine the thermodynamic properties of various pure substances. A pure substance close to or undergoing a phase change process can be classified as one of three states, compressed liquid, saturated liquid vapor mixture, and superheated vapor. The properties of compressed liquids can be found in compressed liquid property tables. If compressed liquid property tables are unavailable, the properties of compressed liquids can be approximated as those of a saturated liquid at the given temperature. Properties of saturated liquids, saturated vapors, and saturated liquid vapor mixtures can be found in the saturated mixture tables. And properties of superheated vapors can be found in the superheated vapor tables. The pressure, volume, mass, and temperature of ideal gases are related by the ideal gas equation of state. Changes in the specific internal energy of ideal gases can be found by integrating the specific heat at constant volume with respect to temperature over the process. Similarly, changes in the specific enthalpy of ideal gases can be found by integrating the specific heat at constant pressure with respect to temperature over the process. Properties of some ideal gases can be found in ideal gas property tables as functions of temperature. Changes in the specific internal energy of solids and liquids can be found by integrating the specific heat with respect to temperature over the process. A change in the specific enthalpy of solids and liquids is equal to the change of the specific internal energy plus the specific volume times the change in pressure.